Good morning, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Mrs. Tiziana Begin, Mr. Mark Tarabella, and Mr. Tomasz Frankowski for a kind invitation. I am aware that in the last term they created a particularly active sport intergroup, and there is no doubt that they will continue their great work in the coming years as well. I'm sorry I couldn't make it today because of some uh, commitments with my own football team, but uh, I really wanted to contribute to this interesting conference. Since as a football player, I strongly believe that it is very important to raise awareness among the European general public about this matter. In an ideal world, nobody would feel ill at ease coming out as a homosexual, whether it's in everyday life or in football. Unfortunately, the reality is somewhat different. In our sport, only eight players have come out as homosexuals, an extremely small number. Many would like to, but they don't feel free to do so, fearful of negative reactions. It's an environment where homophobia is rife and these players are afraid of becoming a target for insults and vilification, both on and off the pitch. As a result, they feel forced to flee, to hide and to live in fear. That's why we need to fight back on this issue harnessing education as a force for good. And what sort of society are we if a young boy can't follow his dream of becoming a footballer because of his sexual orientation? Every time a youngster hangs up their boots and stops playing because they're not accepted by the dressing room, the club or those around them, it's a defeat for the world of football. Being homosexual does not define you as a person, only who you are attracted to. Each and every one of us are part of the human race and we have a shared passion. We love football and that's the most important thing for all of us.